What's up guys, Damon Zell back again with another glyph guide video. This time, Haradrin. Which sets work best with them and why? Let's talk about it. All right, so we're talking about the Haradrin group, and we're going to start off with Tibid the Sage, the leader of the group, and what we want to work with her when we bring her up here is we are going with the Wemba set, and we're going with Weiss Dealer because she is that healer of the group. We want to be able to give off additional stamina at the beginning of the battle. We want to be able to get that additional stamina every time we use an ability, and we want Weiss Dealer just to kind of keep her topped off. Now, because she's going to be healing off her life pool, that's right, you guessed it, we are going with slots 4, 5, and 6, health across the board. We want to pump up that health pool as high as it possibly can go. That's going to give us bigger heals. That's going to give us, um, yeah, it's going to give us bigger heals. <laughs> but the secondaries we're looking for is not only health, but speed, crit chance, and block chance. That's right. We want to be able to block some of that incoming damage. We want to be able to go faster because this team is about speed. It is about turn manipulation. Um, and we also need focus, even though we're not calling it for, for her, but across the team in general. So, recap on Tibet. Life Stealer, Limbus, Health, and the secondary is Health, Speed, Crit Chance, and Block Chance. Moving on to the main tank of the group, Wabute. Now with Wabute, I went with uh, a Wimba set as well as Shield One. Now, unlike Elden, I did not want to put uh, I did not want to just put three shield walls on him and call it a day. Um, because he does have that shared passive with everybody, so he has the chance to go ahead and put uh, Black Serpent's Poison on people. He has that on the special two, that two turns slow. We want to be able to land on people. So, like him, we were we want the ability to be able to tap into that faster than normal. So, uh, Limbuset is going to be able to give us that chance to get that slow off more often and faster. As our slots 4, 5, and 6, we went with 2 damage and a health because he does hit very hard. Even though he's a tank, he does hit hard, especially with that second 2. And if you guys know, it's that special 1 where he gets the 2 stacks of provoke. He hits hard. So that's going to help us out there. As our secondary stats, though, we want crit chance, we want crit damage, we want health and block chance. Obviously, block chance because he's a tank, but... We're looking at crit chance and crit damage. We want crit chance across the board for everybody. The reason being is the more they crit, the more they're going to be able to stick that Black Serpent's Poison. And we want focus on the group because we want to be able to land that Black Serpent's Poison as well. The crit chance is going to give us more abilities to land it. The focus is going to give us more chance to stick it. Now, I went... I, not only did I not have a... Uh, an additional, what is it? I think, additional uh, health over here. So instead, I went with focus because I wanted him to be able to stick those debuffs, uh, so those banes, harder and uh, more often. So I'm I'm experimenting by putting a focus here instead of the health. In a perfect world, world, once I get one for this slot of health, I will swap it out though. So let's talk about our main damage doer of the group, and that would be Yif2. Now, with Yif2, we are going the Withering set and Bloodlust. Obviously, Bloodlust, because more often than not, he's going to be one that's going to be killing off someone. He's going to be finishing someone off. So the ability to get that uh, that turn meter upped is essential. And we want the Withering set, because in most of his abilities, he's going to be landing a Bane on someone. He's going to be landing the Weaken with his basic. On his special one, he's going to be landing that two-turn expose. But as he crits, he's also going to be applying that Black Serpent's Poison. So, yes, that's what we want with that. We want to be able to deal 50% true damage every time we inflict one of those Banes on somebody. And this way, he'll be able to inflict a Bane every time he hits. As our primaries in slots 4, 5, and 6, we're looking at damage, damage, and focus. Again, we want the focus. We'll be able to stick our debuffs. 
as our secondary stats, we are looking at crit chance, crit damage, damage, and focus. Again, the more often we crit, the more often we're going to be able to have that chance to land Black Serpent's Poison and the focus to make it stick. So let's talk about Robel, our off tank. Those of you who have MMO games know what I mean by off tank. Uh, with her, again, like Wabute, we went with the Wimbus set and Shield Wall. We want the Wimbus set to give us additional stamina so that we'll be able to hit that uh, AoE turn meter faster more often. Uh, we want the Bloodlust so that if we do kill somebody, we'll be able to manipulate our turn meter and go faster because she is all about manipulating their turn meter, uh, bringing them down. Now, as our uh, primaries down here, we want two damage and a focus just like EF2. Again, we want to be able to land our uh, turn meter with our basic, with our special two. And as our secondaries for Robel, again, we're looking at crit chance, crit damage, health, and focus. We want the health so that she'll be able to be able to withstand maybe one or two more hits uh, than she normally does without the glyph. And again, crit chance so that we'll be able to land that Black Serpent's Poison. That leaves Bekalu as our last person. And with Bekalu, let me just bring her up here. With Bekalu, we went again with a Withering set. But we also went with Armor Piercer because we want to be able to pierce that armor. We got 2%. Obviously, we're, it's, we're not stacking that. We want the Withering because... Again, she's going to be inflicting a lot of our Banes through her Special 2, through, through her Basic, and again, every time she crits. So we want that 15% true damage every time we're landing that. The primary stats you're looking for in slots 4, 5, and 6 with her is, a, is damage and two focuses. So before I was saying damage, damage, focus, her, it's damage, focus, focus. And any of these slots is fine. The secondary stats we're looking for for Bekalu is crit chance, more focus, crit damage, and speed. We want her to go faster. So because she is our cleanser, it's a three-turn cleanse. So the more, the faster she can go, the faster she can get more stamina to be able to pull off that cleanse. Now, overall, the reason we chose what we chose is that it's going to turn the Herodron into a Class A team to be able to push the envelope on damage. I actually heard of a person who was able to go into difficulty 4 with a full glyph set Herodron and score 1.3 million. Obviously, my team needs a lot of work before I'm able to do that. I need to get some more stars. Uh, obviously, Tibeb is a bitch and a half to uh, farm, but I also need to bring their levels up and their gear tiers up to do that. But we want the Limbus set so that we can um, have all our abilities up so we can manipulate turn meter. Robel with the turn rewind, um, the turn meter exchange. We want Wabute with the slows. And we want Tibeb uh, with the not only the healing, but also be able to get that uh, haste up even faster. We want Shield Wall with the tanks so that they can take a few more hits. We can give them more staying power. We can try different uh, higher difficulties where they can... Uh, take a little bit more abuse. We went with health for Tebeb because, again, she's going to be healing off that health pool. And also, she doesn't have a lot of health to begin with. So we want her to be able to have a little bit of staying power, be able to take it as well. And again, I know I've said it a bunch of times, we want crit chance across the board because the more we can crit, the more we'll be able to put on that Black Serpent's Poison. The so that they won't be able to get any uh, boons. They'll be able to shift it over to just a poison. And yeah, that's going to be work best for this group. This is my choices. If you guys have other choices, let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you guys like this video, uh, what, um, <laughs> what I want to mean is, if you guys want to see me do uh, videos on specific characters or specific teams, also let me know down in the comments. If you like my content recent, uh, uh, if you like my content overall, I know I'm I'm babbling. I need coffee. It's been a very long day. But if you guys uh, like my content, 
go ahead and give me a subscribe. Give me a like on the video. It helps the channel out. It helps me out. Uh, makes me feel like I'm I'm reaching the community out there. And uh, yeah, congratulations. We are over 200 subs. It took a little while, but we're get we're climbing, and I'm I'm loving the climb. I'm loving the community. And uh, until I talk to you guys again, have a great week. Have a great weekend. Adventure safe, and good luck to you and your fellowship.